thousands of World Cup workers who were forced to pay illegal recruitment fees have been compensated. An official in Qatar turns up the heat on Sweden after the Quran was lit on fire in Stockholm. Qatar Investment Authority becomes the second largest shareholder in a Swedish bank. And UEFA is to clamp down on long contracts. Hi, it's Fatma and you're watching The Roundup. Here are today's top stories from Qatar. Qatari authorities have compensated workers and hotel staff who were charged unauthorized recruitment fees to be part of the World Cup. According to a FIFA report, Qatar's organizing body paid more than 86 million Qatari rials to workers as part of the reimbursement program. Over 49,000 Supreme Committee and non-Supreme Committee employees were reimbursed by 266 contractors. FIFA's report details all the numbers for the World Cup. In the lead-up to the tournament, Doha faced mass scrutiny for its treatment of migrant workers, pushing authorities to ramp up efforts to protect the group. And now, Qatar and other Muslim nations should take firm action against Sweden for an incident that involved the burning of a copy of the Quran. That's according to Shura Council member Isa bin Ahmed Al Nasr. The official delivered an impassioned speech among Arab colleagues in Cairo on Monday, just days after a far right leader burned the holy book in Stockholm. Al Nasr called on his colleagues to push their governments to take firm action against Sweden, even suggesting cutting ties with the European. State. Now, Qatar has become Credit Suisse's second largest shareholder. The Qatar Investment Authority increased its stake in the Swiss bank to just below 7%, trailing behind the current biggest stockholder, Saudi National Bank. And in sports, UEFA is reportedly planning to impose a five-year limit on long-term contracts. Sources say this is a bid to stamp out attempts by clubs to bypass the financial fair play regulations. Premier League club Chelsea has most recently made headlines for long contracts for new signings, some of which as long as eight years. This allows the club to spread the costs of players' transfer fees over a longer period. That's it for me today. For more stories, head over to our website, dohanews.co, and make sure to download our app for your daily updates.